Hello and welcome to Black Pumps TV. My name is Noni Mwaseke. I am a certified public accountant. Uh, today, I really want to talk to you about the um, stimulus package called the CARES Act, which actually stands for Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security. In short, it's called CARES Act, right? Perfect name for it. But before we go into this, and it's actually about 800 pages and I'm going to just do snippets of it that I think it's going to be useful to you um, and staying safe and keeping fit. It's really essential so that we can beat this COVID-19. So the first ones that I really want to talk about is talk about the individual provisions, right? So the first one is the unemployment uh, benefit. If you're followed or you're laid off or you lost your job for any reason, please go and file your unemployment insurance claim. Go to your EDD office and file that. The CARES Act actually added another $600 a week up to four months. So let's say you live in California and your maximum unemployment benefit is about $450. The CARES Act now added another $600. So every week you're getting a thousand fifty dollars so it's important that you file now okay there is no waiting period the case act with the waiting period so that's pretty good and then the other thing is that if you live in california normally your benefit will probably run out by 26 weeks with the case act you have another 13 weeks added to it the other thing that you may want to consider is that there is now a waiver of the 10 percent penalty if you withdraw money from your 401k plan or from your IRA plan. So if you withdraw that, the 10% penalty is no longer charged to you up to 100,000. And you can actually pay off the loan in three years. If you don't pay off the loan in three years, then there will be tax on it. So I'll give you an example. If you borrow $25,000 today, there's no 10% penalty and you do not pay tax on that. But now you have from 2020 to 2023 to pay off that loan, right? If you pay off that loan back to yourself, because you're paying it back to your account, then there's no tax on it and there's no penalty. That's really huge. And you can borrow up to $100,000. Then the final one is the rebates. We've all heard about these rebates, right? So it's $1,200 per person so if you're married filing jointly you have 2400 if you're single it's 1200 however there's a phasing for that amount so there's a five percent phasing when you reach a certain income level for singles it's about 75,000. head of household is 122,500. And married filing jointly is about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. and this is based on either your 2019 tax return or your 2018 tax return whichever one you have filed and it's a rebate so it means that 2020 if your income is significantly higher you may find yourself paying back some of that amount but let's cross that bridge when we get there so also you'll be getting 500 dollars per each qualifying child so it's not just your 1200 you're getting 500 um, for each child Right now, you wait for your check that are coming. Um, so we've talked about, those are the three key things. There are other, so many other provisions, but these are the key three things I thought i talk about. Now, let's move over to the loans. That's the fun part, okay? So the CARES Act actually has about three loans, but I'll talk about only two of them. The reason I'm talking about only two of them is that the third one, it's kind of meant for like middle size to big organizations and honestly i know they all have tax people they all have lawyers working on it so i'm not gonna waste my time on that so let's go back to the first one it's called paycheck protection program and it's open to businesses individuals who are self-employed and independent contractors so if you have a small business and you have payroll, you have five employees, you qualify. 
if you're self-employed and you don't have payroll it's just you you're the sole proprietor you qualify if you work as an independent contractor where they give you 1099 miscellaneous you qualify and to do the application you're actually going to apply through your banks why do we want you to do this loan this loan is actually based on two and a half times your monthly salary or your monthly income so let's say you make ten thousand dollars every month so your average it's ten thousand dollars if you multiply that by 2.5 you're getting to twenty five thousand the bank can now give you twenty five thousand dollars here's the sweetness that twenty five thousand dollars can be forgiven i.e it's free money to you but you have to use it in a certain way you have to use it to do payroll or pay yourself if you're self-employed as long as you use it for that and you also pay your rent business rent and business utilities that loan can be forgiven so that's free money so please do me a favor go to sba website and it's also on the screen if you're watching it's on the screen click that um, link and apply today why do i want you to apply today because the money has a cap once they hit that 350 billion dollars they will be over so please apply today the other one that i wanted to talk about is the one that we call eidl for short it's called economic injury disaster loan or grant so the government is actually giving out a grant of ten thousand dollars what do i mean by grant it means that it's free money if you get the ten thousand dollars you don't have to pay it back right so you qualify if you have any type of business you should go to sba.gov and apply the website is on the screen as well i think it's covid19 relief.sba.gov so you can go there and apply today um those are the things that i really want to talk about there's a lot of confusion out there so i try to keep it very simple to just tell you hey you qualify and go and file the applications today if you have any questions or there's any topic whatsoever that you want me to discuss i can answer your questions privately or i can do another video and address all the questions that i get thank you so much stay safe we're gonna beat this i wish you all the best and as always do me a favor remain fabulous thank you bye